trying to find the muscles on the lateral side. So first of all, this muscle is the sartorius coming over here. So we're just going to free that one up. So that's the sartorius muscle. You can see that much better from the front side. Then there's another muscle right next to this. This is the tensor muscle. And in order to be able to see this, what we're going to do is just cut through a little of this fascia material here. This white hard fascia material here is called the fascia lata. And so we're going to cut that up. Here. And when we get to the top of it, we're going to find a, another muscle here. This muscle is the tensor muscle, and they sometimes refer to that as the tensor of the fasciolata. So we're going to cut the fasciolata here and free up this tensor muscle. Okay, the... There's a little bit of fat here I'm going to cut off. The next big muscle that we're looking for here is the biceps muscle. And the biceps muscle is overlaying another muscle right underneath it called the caudofemoralis. So when I separate this biceps muscle here, I find this other little muscle here called the caudo. Caudo means tail. Caudofemoralis. So that's another little tail back by the femur. And I need to get this muscle. It also is attached to some kind of tough fasciolata here. I'm going to disconnect this down at the end here. And I'm going to need to lift this muscle up carefully. And I want to find where this muscle goes all the way up into the buttocks area. I'm just going to follow along up as close as I can here. Okay, so now I have kind of an extra little tail here. So I'm just going to set that back by the first tail. And then I'm going to start looking underneath here for the um, butt muscles. So there are several of these here. So the first one, I'm going to come in from the back and I'm going to pull it down as far as I can here. Then I'm going to detach it. Okay, and I'm going to look for the area where this muscle ends, which is right up here. Okay, this is the gluteus maximus muscle. So this is the caudofemoralis, and this is the gluteus maximus muscle. This next muscle, um, unlike humans, this muscle is the larger in the group, even though this is the gluteus medius muscle. All right, and I want to see the place where the gluteus medius muscle is going to separate from the tensor muscle. I'm going to come right over there and separate that. Okay, so now I can lift up this tensor muscle.
Okay, so let's review these muscles here. So, this little muscle here that was tucked underneath the biceps, this is the caudofemoralis. We found that and pulled that up. Then we have the gluteus maximus, which is smaller than the other gluteus muscle in cats. Then we have the gluteus medius, this big muscle here. And then we have this muscle is called the tensor. And then this white material here that is attached to is called the fasciolata. So altogether, this is the tensor fasciolata. And we'll have to wait till we get on the inside, on the other side there, to completely free it up. But you can see most of it right here. Okay. Then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to free up <coughs> the biceps muscle. This is called the biceps femoris, so that we don't confuse it with the one on the arm, which is the biceps brachii. All right, in order to do this, we want to make sure that we don't do anything to the sciatic nerve. So we're going to look underneath here, and we're going to see a white cord. We don't want to cut that, so we want to make sure that that is down. Then we're going to go to the back here. And remember we talked about that glob of fat back here. We're going to remove that. It does have a little gland in it. Okay. All right, after we remove that, then there's a nice big hole there, so we can make our way through here. And now we should be able to extend our finger all the way through the biceps here. Okay, so we want to separate the biceps from the semitendinosus here. Should have just a natural separation. Okay, so this is the biceps and we're going to detach the biceps. Actually, we're going to bisect the biceps by cutting it right down the middle here. This is a relatively thick muscle. When we do that, we'll see that we have not done anything to the sciatic nerve. So this is the sciatic nerve. And now all we need to do is identify these muscles underneath here. <coughs> 